Hello, again, it's Andrei Kulikov, and in this video I'd like to talk about a simple decision of, of one uh, Kaggle task uh, with XGBoost, my favorite XGBoost. So it, it, it is the uh, task from Playgrounds series, season 3, episode 13, where we have a data set uh, that that has uh, about 19 features. They uh, they are simple features. And uh, where is it? Okay. <laughs> Here it is. Uh, and uh, the target value, uh, the prognosis of uh, of. Uh, weaknesses some weaknesses yes and the difficulty of this task is that in my prediction i have to predict not one value with the highest probability but three values with um the highest, then the second highest, and the third highest probabilities. Um, it is very helpful, helpful and useful to read the documentation on XGBoost. I uh, uh, remembered that there is a special thing like uh, predicting probabilities of the values. And I used it. Uh, so in my code, I loaded the data sets. Here are their length, train and test. Then looked for missing values, they were zeros. Then made uh, X and uh, target. Uh, values features made some correlation and uh, checked the unique values they were all zero and one and uh, found that uh, there were one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven unique values of the target and uh, I have I had to use uh, not categorical but uh, numerical targets and for that I used label encoder that do it automatically I <laughs> tested to do it by hand but um, no need to do it if we have such a wonderful thing like label encoder encoder uh, so here is the function uh, to check the um, a result of its uh, working and i see see that to this uh, categorical it it puts uh, the uh, numerical feature, uh, numerical meanings in in such uh, in such a way. So I see uh, target is digits, and then I uh, used in my machine learning uh, algorithm. Uh, Grid search, it is commented here, but I used it and uh, once because it uh, ha had some time to fulfill, and uh, uh, the best uh, parameters were found, and I used them later in a simple, simple uh, learning. And evaluation metric was was ma map at k, 
it is it was in the task here it is and uh, I put three here because I want to check three target values maybe I'm not right but I read some documentation where it is uh, it was clear for me to put here three okay uh, so uh, and and the main thing of of this uh, task is to use not simple predict but to use predict probe where, where I after using it I got uh, the um, probability of each uh, target so for example the biggest probability is uh, here is number one I suppose yes which is Dengue <laughs> and in the results I've got here one one and uh, also later Dengue here okay uh, so I've got this wonderful uh, table and now the second task is to turn to tasks to choose the best three values in the order and uh, to put uh, categorical uh, name back so for that for that I first uh, choose uh, three best uh, values here are they one six uh, zero by using this uh, d d definition yes. no definition uh, function uh, using this and what is predict proba from test uh-huh Test and here is uh, ah, I see it, it was an experiment not using here data frame. <laughs> Why did I do this? I, I don't know, but I did. So I've got this uh, result. And now I have to put here categorical, and for that I used also uh, inverse transform of label encoder. It gave me this uh, uh, a result, and then I did uh, the result for uh, reshaping it to three uh, three parameters for each row. Okay. And uh, then I made su submission and got a score. Not good, but not bad. So it it was submissions. Uh, here it is. Uh, submissions. Submissions. Uh, leaderboard. So the the. <laughs> dot uh, 44 are the best now but i am i am i am on the what <laughs> so i have to do some other experience but uh, it was about the possibility of xgboost for solving this task with uh, minimal effort so thank you very much for Watching, see you later. Kago, you are cool. Bye.